Oxford Clothes is the only manufacturer left in the United States that still tailors suits by hand. Years ago, everybody did it this way. Today, there's only one place to find this level of quality, and that's the bespoke tailoring of an Oxford suit. Oxford Clothing has a tradition of fine tailoring that goes back almost 100 years. Since 1916, we've been committed to crafting the finest suits in the world by hand right here in Chicago. Over the years, Clark Gable, Humphrey Bogart, Joe DiMaggio, they've all worn Oxford. Today, we're the last factory in the United States tailoring custom suits by hand. Tradition is what happens when you uphold quality every day and every step of the process. It begins with the fabrics. I can't play the entire video through because I don't want to get a copyright strike. That said, we are reviewing Oxford. I found a fantastic pair of Oxford trousers on eBay that I won in a bid. Now these trousers are a dark chocolate brown, which I believe is such a elegant color that one could pair with blues, grays, greens, any type of natural color will pair very well with these dark brown cho chocolate trousers. That said, Oxford. Oxford is an American brand that's been around for over a hundred years making bespoke clothing. Many individuals may not know about Oxford. Their headquarters is located in Chicago. I'm not particularly sure where exactly, but I saw that on the website that their flagship store is there. Here is the pair of the chocolate brown trousers. Unfortunately, the camera was not able to pick up the luster of these trousers, which is unfortunate because I really wanted you guys to see these. So once we get the alterations done, I can zoom in so you guys can see. That said, these trousers, the hem has a two and three fourths inlay, which on a pair of bespoke or high made to measure trousers, they're going to come with a significant amount of inlays just so you can either add a cuff or have a straight hem. I'm going to keep these as a straight hem even though I could add a two inch cuff with because with almost three inches of inlay, it's quite possible to do that. Now, let's talk about the front of the trousers. As you can see, it is a zip front with a button on the inside. I'm not familiar with the name, but I do know the loop is to hold your stomach in, play, in place just so it has a even distribution across the waistband. The particular thing about this shank or hook on the waistband. It's very close to the front of the waistband. I believe this is to give it a smoother presentation so it's not brunched up in the front. Also, there's a little hidden pocket on the right hand side, which I thought this was very clever, whether you wanna add a key or put some extra cash in there just so you don't have it in your pockets. As you can see here, the official Oxford badge if you will or insignia the interesting thing about these trousers they don't have a traditional waistband except for in the front as you can see the trousers have a traditional waistband in the front but in the back of the trousers there is no waistband also they have jetted pockets which is another look that's more formal more elegant than flat pockets as I was saying, the trousers, the back of them do not have this waistband like they do in the front. So with my all my trousers, I always get the waistbands, or not the waistband, but the belt loops taken off just so I can add suspender buttons. 
and wear them with suspenders. It's a look that I thoroughly enjoy wearing. And then I'm interested to see what it's going to look like once those belt loops are off. These, are, of course, are horn buttons coming from Oxford. You should expect nothing less but high quality materials. They are one pleat, so single pleated, and they have peak stitching on the side pockets, which I thought was very interesting because many times trousers do not come with that type of peak stitching. Unfortunately, with the camera and the lighting, I'm not able to pick up the luster of the chocolate brown trousers. <laughs> 